Hello guys, uh, these are my three portable VHF uh, walkie talkies and these three are their spare batteries which are kept separately they have an expiry date so we'll, I'll just take one and we'll talk about it and it's better day uh, just to show you that they, these three are always on charging they are of JRC model and they are always on charging so those three walkie talkies are required as per SOLAS uh, there where you can see there are at least three VHF portable walkie talkies are always required on a ship of 500 GT and above and at least two VHF radio telephony apparatus of ship more than 300 GT so remember uh, those are the uh, portable VHF we are talking about VHF radio telephone and not the VHF which we have for our general communication not these VHF always we must have these portable VHF these are the one which are portable VHF so most of the ship uh, we can see only these type of walkie talkies are coming as portable VHF JRC these are very famous one so let's begin with our operator so let's begin uh, this is the power and volume button so to switch it on just press it uh, it's switched on and you can see slightly an orange light there is the indicator that on which channel it is there are two knobs basically if you want to switch between the channels which are present over here I'll just adjust if you want to switch between these channels which are present over here as you can I'll, you can rotate the knob or if you just directly want to go to channel 16 so if now only now where channel 16 is activated if you want to switch between these channels which are present over here just press it up and you can see you can select the channel so these channels which are present over here uh, are same like your one which are there in your uh, main VHF so those are same channels we'll test it later on and so this is all it this is just a squelch this is the squelch button and uh, transmission wheel. this is the antenna this part so it is just to increase the range of the VHF so let's first test this and then we'll talk about the other aspect of this VHF this is my main VHF which is on channel 16 uh, you can see this on channel 16 I'll test mic testing one you can see uh, this, this on channel 16 so you can see it's working and you can try it with other channels which are present on this VHF you can try it with try it out with other channels too channel 6 channel channel 13 no, channel 6 channel 13 channel 15 17 60s and you can try it out with other channels too so you, it will always be working now it has a battery battery which is present over here this is the battery and important thing about this battery is that this is a chargeable battery the other battery which I have shown you which is a spare battery which, this one which is always every equipment will have every uh, VHF will have one spare battery with it the other battery the battery which was there uh, in spare is a non chargeable battery so it is it cannot be charged once it is used it will it can only be used for a maximum period of five years and uh, this is non chargeable and this battery which is already already present in it it is a chargeable battery so how to open it as it says press the push button and we have to turn it like this uh, so we'll open it So this is how it is. Press push button and turn it. And this is the battery. It's you can see it's same like this is the one which is with this VHF. And this is the spare battery, both are almost same. So that's how it is. You have to just plug it in and turn it. So it will get entangled. So that's about this battery and VHF. This is all it is. Channels and power. You want to switch it off just press uh, rotate the power and volume button anti-clockwise and it will switch it off that's all about it about this battery i've already told you that it is a uh, shell life is five years 
and uh, it is it is not a chargeable battery this is a very important point so it it shall only be used in case of emergency in case you uh, you have a failure with this battery in case uh, or your battery life is exhausted you have used this in case of emergency then you will use on this uh, another um, spare battery which is with this and uh, that's it it's, this is just a seal over it this one so once you break the seal so the use will means you cannot put it back and you can say that this is a new battery so this is just a kind of seal on it so you can only use it once that's about it this is the instruction manual for this i just zoom it for once you can read it you can pause the video and you can read it if you want to read the instructions it's a five year battery lithium and the battery orange color and it should only be used in case of emergency and it should be used only in case of an emergency situation now about it it's uh, testing it shall be recorded in uh, its testing must be recorded into gmds's logbook once in a month it shall be used once in a month and or uh, secondly if you are using and if you are uh, doing your abandon ship bill which you are showing twice a week means bi weekly so every second week you are showing emergency drill emergency lifeboat drill abandon ship drill during that time you must test this so in uh, many of the betting inspector ask uh, when do you use it so normally people say one monthly but if you are doing your abandon ship drill during that period you must record this into that gmds logbook that during abandon ship drill the vhf was tried out every time make sure that you tried out on at least two channels given over here 6 13 17 any other two channels in uh, simon tlc you will just switch the channels every drill when you write the channels just uh, change the channels channel 6 and 13 tried out channel 15 and channel 15 and 17 tried out one important point over here is uh, in vetting they normally if they check normally vetting inspector do not check this but if they check they will uh, check that you have you tried it out on channel 16 or not never mention to write it on uh, the gmds's logbook that you have tried it on channel 16 you must not write that you are trying out this portable vhf on channel 16 because this is their thinking that uh, if you write this then every ship if they start testing their vhf on channel 16 then the purpose of channel 16 is gone means there will be a lot of disturbance on channel 16 so yes you have to try this on channel 16 uh, but just for the log keeping do not write into your gmds logbook that you have tried on channel 16 try it out on channel 16 and uh, for log keeping for writing in the logbook just mention any of these channels which are present over here and you have to mention it at least once a month or at or in every abandon ship drill when you do you have to try it out so this is all about this uh, portable vhf and the entries with respect to portable vhf what entries you have to make in the gmds log just in the gmds log we have to mention portable uh, vhf all three portable vhf tried out on channel 6 and 13 or 17 and 15 and that's it every second week you just have to switch the channels and were found satisfactory that's it